afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Chicago Cubs and the Texas Rangers. Number 80. So digging in now, Javier Baez. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Starts things here with a changeup for a cold strike. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Fastball swung on and missed, and the leadoff man has gone on strikes to start the afternoon. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. David Bodie is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. No swing on the knuckle curve, even at one and one. Miner has a reputation or a knack, if you will, for working himself out of tough situations when he finds himself there. A lot of relief pitchers are known for that, obviously, but as a starter, that's certainly a valuable characteristic to have. Matty Dean, I'm going to tell you who likes this. The bullpen likes it, and the manager likes this, because most pitchers are going to get into trouble at least one or two times during the course of the start. And it's nice to know as a manager that you have a guy that's out there that can pitch with men on base and wiggle out of some tough jams. This guy's made a living doing this in his career. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. This is skied out toward right. Right fielder is on the run. He's got it. A great running play. Striding in, Shinsu Chu. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The designated hitter. On a less than impressive swing there to start the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0 2 now. Ball 1 as the changeup misses well off the inside. I love a well executed changeup, especially one down in the zone. The only problem throwing it in that situation. You leave that belt high or miss your spot just a hair, and you could have some problems. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. Shin Su Chu is retired for the first out here in the bottom half of the first. And that's the second out. Coming to the plate now, Hunter Cole. And as you can imagine, the butterflies are fluttering as this is his first major league at bat. Yeah, what a monster moment for not only himself, but his family, all the coaches that have helped him along the way. This is a monumental moment in his career. Well, I had him reaching at thin air that time, and he's very quickly down 0-2. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1-2. and two. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will... Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Calhoun waits on it. He's got it one away. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. In his career against Mike Miner, he's only two for ten. Owen won the count. Now here it comes. He's got that certainly timed up now. I'd be shocked if the pitcher goes to the well three times in a row with off speed. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Oh, my, this ball is crushed. Where will this one end up? And gone. An absolute bomb. So now to the plate, Kyle Schwarber. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Yeah, and as we take a look at it on replay, you can see this thing was gone from the second it left his bat. A thunderous shot that dang near gave the pitcher a little whiplash. Challenged him with a fastball and lost big time. One ball and two strikes to count. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. The one-two is swung on and missed. He got him. Not a lot of guys throw that knuckle curve, but some guys have a lot of success with it. Some say it has more bite than the traditional curveball, but I think it's more of a field thing. It just works for certain pitchers, and it worked right there. And he fouls this one off. Second inning here as the Cubs lead this one early 1-0. 
hammered the other way to deep right field. Racing back the right fielder. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. And now here's the versatile outfielder, Albert Almora, Jr. And he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle at 0-1. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Good breaking ball there, laid off for the second strike. I get it. He wants to see this guy's repertoire, but now he's behind in the count. Puts himself... Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Last half of the second set to go. And coming forward is the switch hitting outfielder, Danny Santana. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Great job by the pitcher right there to pull the string. He knew he had an aggressive hitter at the plate, somebody who was sitting on fastball and ready to do damage. And he was able to slow him down right there and get him off balance. Throw to first in time, and the bunt attempt is foiled. Got it, good. Now at the plate, Willie really? Calhoun, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. Bases are empty, one man out. Oh, got him a swing out of his shoes on that one, nothing in two. Boy, so far early into this one, this guy's pitching really well. And I'm a big believer in body language. He's getting the ball, he's working really quick keeping the ball down in the zone and if you take a look at this guy so far early on a lot of positive signs he looks like he brought his good stuff in this one here's the first pitch to him good curveball there gets the swing and miss hey if I'm on the mound I'm going even further out of zone on this next pitch lays off the sinker here a ball and a strike Hendricks a right-hander standing six foot three. He was an eighth round selection back in 2011. Man, coming out of the late rounds, you have to grind for everything. Nothing is given to you. And this guy has turned himself into a very solid big league ball player. That's a big accomplishment. The three and one pitch. Takes a strike for a full count now, three and two. full count. Count still full, three and two. You could tell he was guessing right there, and he certainly wasn't guessing change up. That pitch was in his wheelhouse, and he was late. Three. Froze him for strike three, and that retires the side. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Jason Kipnis is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning, one and oh. A ball and a strike. Kipnis for Kip for short. He was taken in the second round back in the 2009 MLB draft. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on a superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. And that brings up Javi Baez as he'll take a change up here for strike one. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Hit softly on the ground to first. Only play will be to the pitcher covering, and the runner will advance to third now. First delivery to him on the way. David Bodie will stand in for the second time as he watches one miss low. It's a ball and no strikes. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. Bodie, a six foot one inch right handed swinger and thrower. He was taken in the 18th round during the first year player draft of 2012. Hey, this guy's got a chance to be an absolute steal. Being drafted where he was, there are definite signs that he has a chance to make an impact at the big league level. Kipnis stands at third with one gun in the inning. And another foul ball. Hit out towards second. And not in time as the run scores. The next hub up, Chris Bryant, one in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Grounded back up the middle. He'll go to the bag for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So here's the left-handed bat of Rude Middledore. Seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. And the sinker is over here, and that evens things at one.
nope, hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Hit on the ground out to short. Baez has it. And that's the first down. Batting in. Standing Jeff. in, Jeff Mathis. Yeah. He'll get to take his first Mathis. cuts here. And not the greatest of starts to the at bat as he reaches for one out of the zone for strike one. I know we want to focus on the offense and how bad they've been so far, but can we give some love to the pitcher? He has had these guys in the rocking chair all day. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to short. The one two is a breaking ball in off the plate. That turns out to be a good take on that front door breaking ball, but you have to wonder if that pitch buckled him at all. That was really close to clipping the inside corner. This is foul right side. Rangers still searching for hit number one in the ball game. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. The three, two, one more time. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Stepping up now, Ronald Guzman. His guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. Swing and a miss on a pitch below the knees. One strike. Tough to do much with that one, a swing and a miss. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Count is one and two now. Just hung in there on that one. The one two. Just staying alive putting together a really good at bat here. He'll try again one two. Just off the outside that time laid off for a ball. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. He'll get it into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is... Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. Oh, and he leaves another pitch over the plate here. This one's sent high in the air out to deep left center field. And for the third time this afternoon, he has surrounded. Johander Mendez will come on now and take the ball for the fourth time this spring. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Mendez, a Venezuelan-born ball player. He's a five-year vet at the major league level. Swing and a miss, and he's in control, 0-2. Four runs, four hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. Pitch is popped up. Oh, he snares it! Up next to the Cubs, the left field, Kyle Morgan. Swing, and oh my! Hit him with the hind! And now over the wall. And this is going to be ruled a home run. Into the box, Steven Souza. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing and one. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. Oh, good spot. On the black for strike two. A wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Center fielder on the run. But it's the right fielder that gets there to make the catch. And that's the second out of the inning. Now batting. So here's the Albert Almora next. Albert. He's 0 for 1 after Almora. grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Almora 
a native Floridian. He's a five-year vet at the major league level. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and two. Line to the right side. And a little self-preservation down. You Darvish, the 6'5 right-hander, takes over on the mound. Number 11. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And standing in is the DH, Shinsu Chu. Weak roller right side. And a good throw gets him one gun. Stepping into the box, Anderson Tejeda. He's 0 for 1 thus far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. The 1-0 is looked at off the plate for a ball. Tejeda has been a great story in the baseball world lately. This game has taken some major strides since his early days in the minor leagues, and he's had to prove himself time and time again to get to this point. And he's done exactly that. And I'm sure he's had to prove himself to himself at moments, had to look in the mirror and decide, is this what I want to do with the rest of my life, grinding it out on the buses in the minor leagues? But it all comes to fruition now, stepping into the batter's box in the big leagues for the first time. Here now the 2-2. Gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2-0 to now start that. the at-bat. That's a pretty bad place to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0-2. Struck him out, so he's set down on strikes for the second time today. One, two. Welcome back to Arlington. Before we get much further, let's check in with Heidi. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cubs to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said it was clear his guys were locked into their at-bats from the very first pitch. And that's something they emphasized in the pregame meetings. He's happy they got... Nick Goody will come on and get some work as he makes his second appearance so far this spring. And it's fouled away. The 1-1 home. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to get around this guy a little bit. Odor has it. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. The bat, number nine. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Javier Baez comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Hey, there aren't too many power hitters in the game that would let that pitch go by. One ball and one strike to the Cubs' leadoff batter. Inside corner called a strike one and two. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two-strike approach either. Ball one. A ball and two strikes to count now with the bases empty and two away. Oh, look at that stop. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with the Rangers manager during the inning break about the team's offensive production to this point. And he told me that they have to find a way to be more patient at the plate. He told me that they've been way too aggressive on the first pitch of the at-bat. And while he doesn't necessarily condemn that if it's leading to hits, that's clearly not the case right now. Over 80% of their at-bats have started with a swing on the first pitch, and a lot of those have resulted in swinging misses or outs, guys. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Now the one-and-one one pitch. Down the left field line and deep. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. The one-two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. 
Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there, the straight changeup. He hadn't used it yet in this at bat, and what does he do? He uses really? it, pulls the string, no. and gets the big strikeout. Fouled off. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. Fouled away. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put away stuff. Line drive to left. Schwarber is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there now are two gone now. First pitch coming. Here it is. Now this is on the ground for Baez. It's short. Scooped up. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. Here it comes. Chris Bryant is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Slider and he can't pull the trigger. Two strikes. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. That's back to back sliders on the outside part of the plate. Now would be a good time to come in with that good hard stuff inside. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Chris Bryant goes down to become the first out in the sixth inning. And he fouls this one off. Now the one and one pitch. Five runs, five hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. Another one sent foul. Two and two to the Cubs catcher. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. So we'll see what pitch he comes with next. Now here's a comebacker back to the mound. And he'll just flip this on to first for the second out of the inning. And that'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Lined into left center. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Boy, that's something you see often in batting practice. Guys using the whole field there, D Row. I like to see that a lefty that's just not always pull happy. 100% Dan that pitchers have gotten so much nastier in today's game that if you're not willing to play with the entire field you're going to struggle. A ball and two strikes now. Ooh, and heads up as this is pulled foul. A runner on first with two away. Waved at and missed for the third out. Not much of a chance at hitting that one. Jarrell Cotton is out from the bullpen here as he'll be making his fifth appearance this spring training. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Left center. Base hit. Now this gets all the way to the wall. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Wow. Not sure what the pitcher was thinking. Serving up a fastball right over the heart of the plate. His eyes got as big as saucers as he blasts this thing, putting himself in the scoring position to start off the inning. Digging in to try it again. Jeff Mathis looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? Now that the at the plate, man. Ronald Guzman. First offering on its way. Nope. Down and away, one ball and no strikes. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. Hit back up the middle. And a diving effort there, but it'll come up empty. It's a base hit. And that'll put him on the board as it's now a 5 1 ball game. Now back, the designated hitter. A good job of hitting right there, D. Well, runner on third, less than two outs. All you want to do is put the ball in play. He did just that. Hits a grounder right up the middle that drives in a run. Yeah, took it right back at where it came from. All you're trying to do is avoid the corners. Hit something hard up the middle, whether it be on the ground or in the air. You're going to drive the run in. Swing and a miss, and he needs a little discipline here. 0-2. 
I'm going to need to see a better game plan out of the hitter right here. That ball was at his eyes. Got him swinging in the dirt. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. So next to the plate for Texas, Anderson Tejeda is still hitless in the majors after two at-bats. No doubt he'd like to turn that zero batting average into a 333 here. Yeah, I know it's his first game, but after two at-bats, he should be able to slow himself down a little bit. I expect him to have a nice A-B right here. 1-1 is looked at for ball number two. Two out here and a runner at second. Line drive to left. And that's in there. Base hit. And the runner at third will put the brakes on here as they didn't want to chance it even with two outs. This game is unbelievable sometimes, Dan. There's a bullet knock right there. You're expecting an RBI. He almost hit it too good. He can't even score. Boy, too good is it, Mark. This is one right here. It just kind of gets out to the outfielder so quick that the runner not have able to score from second base. Hunter Cole is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Set to deliver the 0-1. Didn't quite catch the zone there, ball one. Runners at the corners, two men out. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Number three hole hitter up right now. Cleanup guy on deck. Two ball, two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. And that's taken high for a ball. It's full now, three and two. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. Kipnis has it. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is ready once again. Steven Souza and to start out. Leading off of the cup, the right field, number 21. Jonathan Hernandez is out from the bullpen now as he'll work in his third game so far this spring. Up and away to start the inning. It's 1-0. Swing and a miss. Looked like a slider there. A ball and a strike. 1-2 and two now as that one's fouled off. Good plate discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a two and two. What pitch recognition right there. 90% of the guys are going fishing after that nasty slider. So it's a backwards K on the changeup that time. Steven Souza becomes the first out of the inning. He sends it out to left field. Well hit. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And he'll pull into second with one away. Hey guys, I like the execution by the batter there. He got a hanger in the middle of the plate. He could have come unglued, but he didn't. He stayed focused and drove a line drive base hit. To first. Oh, look at the sliding stop. Takes it himself, and he got him. That was exceptional. He got the out and prevented the runner from having a chance to score. Jason Hayward will be charged with the job of getting that guy home as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at third. Runner in scoring position with two gone. And it's one and one. Softly on a line to third. Throw on to Guzman at first, and the inning is over. Justin Steele gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Nico Horner is into the ball game as a defensive replacement. He'll be the new shortstop here. Now Sends that one out of play for strike one. In there, and he's in control 0-2 now. And they'll try to tempt him with a curveball, but this bounces in front of the plate, and it's one and two. Here's the pitch. Great change up there in the dirt for the third strike. 
The throw to first is in time, one down. Up next for the Rangers. And here's the former prize Dodger prospect Willie Calhoun. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Lifted the other way out to left center. And that is down as that could be two bases. And this will kick off the base of the wall. And they're going to hold him to a single here as they do a nice job of getting it back in quickly. Now well, there's a long drive bullet off the wall right there. But the outfielder does a really good job, d -Row, of getting that one quickly and getting it back in to keep him at first for a long single. Yeah, and also a nice job by the base runner not there. Not putting his head down, being over aggressive and getting thrown out at second base. He saw the play happening in front of him and put the brakes on and got back for a base hit. Yeah, d -Row, I think he would have been toast if he tried to stretch that one into a double. Hey, watch out. This hitter's got one thing on his mind. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Here's Rognet Odor now. He hit a two-bagger and later scored in his previous plate appearance. Yeah, give me a repeat performance of that last double. With a man on first right now, let him run and get you a ribby. I'll tell you, if I'm pitching right now, I'm not throwing anything near the strike zone until these guys prove they can lay off it. They're just being way too aggressive. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And he looks at a ball one and two. Man, that's a good take there on that 0 2 fastball just missed. He must have a really good eye at the plate. Just a bit low. A tough call, but it's two and two. Hey, expect a challenge right here. Does not want to run the count full. The 2 2 pitch. Hit out towards second. Kipnis ranging to his right, and he's safe. You know, D-Row, sometimes one of your best friends are your own teammates right there. Good hustle from first base to beat that throw to second. And guess what? He bought his battery made a knock. Yeah, he definitely bought him a knock. You know what else he's going to buy him? He's going to buy him dinner on the road at some point because that's some significant hustle right there. It was a nice play. The internal clock of the defender thought he still had a chance at second. Wasn't meant to be. No balls in one strike. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Bouncer up the middle. He's got it. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Starting to run out of innings here as they are unable to cut into the deficit. Ian Happ is going to be asked to get things going here as a lead. Big hitting for the top. Number eight, Ian Happ. Ariel Gerardo has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. And they start him out away with a cold strike. Where this one almost in books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d Rob, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. No balls and a strike to count. One and one. Five one our score as we play the eighth. And it's one and two. Line drive to center field. And he will make the play out there and there are two away now. P.J. Higgins will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Out in front of it, strike one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit down the third baseline. A dive, but he can't make the play and it's down the left field line. The throw into second. Wow, the throw pulls him off the bag. As we look again at that double here, you can see that he was thinking too right out of the box. Smashed it down the line, and that was some great hustle to beat the throw to second to earn himself a double. He brings it in right in front of the target. Leon Happ remains in the game playing third after entering the game as a pinch hitter in the previous half inning. Now playing third day. So a new pitcher entering the fray now. It'll be the hard-throwing right-hander Craig Kimbrell. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. He takes it to the opposite field. High and deep to left. And it's gone! Man, that 
that's not very nice. You come in from the bullpen and you get greeted with a bomb. He's going to have to hit the reset button pronto. Now back the designated hitter. Shinsu Chu at the plate now as he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. Pitch on the way. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Schwarber is over toward the line a bit as he takes it for the first out. Now that at the plate, Don't Anderson Tejeda. He bats for the fourth there. time in his career, Don't having already collected his first hit. Not a bad first day, huh? Yeah, you can never take this day away from him, Matt. No matter what happens in this fourth AB, he's going to get in his car today. He's going to relive every moment, every step that it took to get here. And the fact that he has a batting average when he wakes up in the morning is huge. He's set. Here's the 0-1. One ball, one strike. To one and two now. The pitch. Oh. One out, nobody on. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. You know, you don't always have to straight challenge a guy on a three-two count. With the three-run lead, no one on base, this is the perfect situation to do it. No reason to nibble and possibly set up a big inning. And indeed, the throw will finish him off as they get the put out at first, and there are two away now. Now with the plate, Hunter Cole, 0 for 3 on the day so far. He doesn't seem to have the idea on the major league pitching thing yet, but he could turn his day around with a hit here. Yeah, he just needs one to fall right here. Just something to grab himself a batting average and let him relax. You're playing for everybody else but yourself at this moment, just trying to grind to get a hit. Two out, nobody on. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Rangers. Jared Young will try to get his club a little ninth. Hitting for the Cubs. Number 19, Jared Young. Colby Allen enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. After it is Calhoun, but it's the center fielder who gets there. And that's the first out of the inning. Steven Souza will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning as we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. Helping him out here as he swings and misses to fall behind a ball and two strikes. Look out, that one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Now here it comes. And a swing and a miss here. And the first two are dispatched to begin the ninth. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Albert Almora is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. And he struck him out. So a good pitch there. And now they're going to need to string some hits together in this last at. Three up, three down for the Cubs. And it remains five to two. Rowan Wick comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. And the pitch. Danny Santana is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one.
0-1, here it comes. Ball inside. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. Higgins is after it, but no chance to recover. Santana is on it first after the strikeout. Really? So a runner at first now with nobody out. And into bat next, former Dodger minor leaguer Willie Calhoun. Popped up. Higgins over to his right. He's got it one away. Now batter, the third baseman. Into the box, Elvis Andrews will be summoned off the bench here as he'll pinch hit with a runner at first and one gone in the inning. Andrews committed to that one a bit too soon as it locks him up for strike one. Andrus in an 0 and 2 hole here. Unless you're willing to sell out and try and take one part of the field out of play and just work the ball up the middle the other way, it's extremely difficult when a guy's throwing this hard to stay back on a breaking ball. You either commit and be all in on a fastball or try and find a way to work the ball the other way to keep you back on the off-speed. Stepping into the box, movement of door. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Here comes the first pitch. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. Hey, either this hitter needs a cup of coffee or he was sitting off speed right there. Hit to third. Hap brings it in. Throw on to second for the force, and the ball game is over. You might think it's just another win, but it's awfully hard to win in this game, especially on the road. But they find a way to get it done, and they should be very happy with this performance. 5-2 to two the final today. The Chicago Cubs get the win on the heels of four home runs. Kyle Hendricks gets the W on the mound. Mike Miner worked only three innings in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. Here for now. more.